I'm actually just about a year and a half locked right now. But what I did when I first started my locks, like many of us, I wanted to document it. But I got like halfway through documenting, I'm just like, what if this actually doesn't work? <laughs> like, what if I go and post something and I'm just like, oh, do this like to your locks when you start them or whatever. And it's a catastrophe so what i thought to myself is i'll document for now and when the time comes when i see the result and the outcome i'll put it out and i'll be able to say do this or do that or whatever the case may be so we're actually gonna go back and look together at the one week lock update video i filmed about a year and a half ago now <laughs> let's tune in Welcome to Purpose X Beauty, where it's all about locks, lifestyle, and beauty. My name is Simone, and today I will be giving you my one week lock update. So like you, who probably clicked on this video because you are thinking about starting your locks or have just started your locks, I was doing bare research, right? Just looking up as much videos as I can, getting all the information, just being as informed as possible before I make this decision, right? And I just remember when I was doing that, I did not see a lot of content that talked about your first week being locked, like your very first week. I was like, maybe I'm just being special, but I literally, I felt like once I got my starter locks, I did not know like what to do in that month time span when you get your first retwist. It was just like no real advice, like, oh my gosh, like what do I do? And then your locks are so fresh and fragile, you don't wanna do anything that could potentially ruin it. So you're just like, I don't know, but um, I'm gonna show y'all what I did, how it came out, right? So let's tune in. So this is it. This is the grand finale. Okay, one time for the one time. Um, just shout out to my skin real quick because it looks so much. I am wearing makeup right now, but. Maybe I could insert a picture and I'll be dropping a skin repair routine on you guys real quick. But back into this, my skin got so much better though. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is my hair washed for the first time after one week. Let's get a close up. So <laughs> let's stop it right there. <laughs> let's stop it right there. So you just heard me. After one week of being locked, I washed my hair and doing that was contrary to just about every video I had watched to prepare me for my lock journey and let me tell you the story about why that even was so there I was boom right fresh out the chair I just got my locks started I got comb coils I got grid port parting and I had 73 locks I was good to go I have 4c hair and the ends of my hair actually were damaged so they looked like that but as you can see it didn't really mess up nothing in, in the long run but in any case right just start my locks boom so there I am though so I'm just like <laughs> how do i care for this <laughs> like what do what do i really do like can i spritz water can i put oil because all the videos i was watching number one thing do not be putting water on your hair like do not wash often and do not be putting water on your starter locks like over saturating and stuff and i was just like okay well i guess i just sit here and wait like mm. so i was wrapping it with a satin scarf i actually started my locks during quarantine so like sun sundown my hair was literally just in a satin scarf and a bonnet right so that was simple but you know time's going on time's going on fifth day come around i'm just like i gotta do something and mind you my hair still looked moisturized like it was still shining and popping and all that but I, it just sound crazy to me i'm thinking in my head my hair has not seen water or any sort of moisturization for five days like that sounds crazy so i'm just like i gotta put some water i gotta do something to it right so i did get my water bottle my spray bottle spritz 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 regular faucet water tap water from the sink right spritz 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 and i don't know what chemical reaction that activated but after that like immediately it just set off this crazy itching 
in my scalp i could it was i'm talking about uncontrollably i could not help it it and it became unbearable and uncomfortable i'm talking about ah, could, like you had to scratch it wasn't just a scratch you could sit there and ignore it it was just like you had to like get in there like shh and so i deduced that it was the so there were several theories i had but before i could even get to those theories as to why that happened i was just like i gotta wash my hair like so i endured that for two days and by the seventh day a one week lock i was just like can't do it i gotta wash my hair so then i looked up some videos about like washing starter locks and stuff and i found the stocking cap method and i will be making a video about how to do that in depth and everything but i did the stocking cap method and i saw great results none of my coils unravel all of my locks stayed intact and that was popping and so that's this video right here that we watching about how i just washed my hair after one week and my scalp felt so much relief it was I, I was so glad i did it but the fact that it was so contrary to all the advice i had gotten out there i was scared to do it but i did it and it worked for me <laughs> back to the video though so i'm hoping you all are able to see this this is a close-up of what my hair is looking like after this first wash. Naturally, with the water weighing down my hair, I got a little bit of my length back, like literally a little bit. And that's back. And you'll hear that you experience shrinkage a lot in the beginning stages of your locks but i don't feel like i experienced that and it's probably because i have 4c here i feel like my hair behaved exactly the way it always did like i shrinkage and shrinkage like it wasn't like an abnormal characteristic so like if it did it it just it probably just felt normal to me and i didn't really feel like i experienced shrinkage it's just like naturally if your hair is wet it's going to droop if it's not it's gonna do this like i don't know so but you also notice that the ends the very ends of my hair had like this springy and some of them even kind of just fl flat wavy type of look and those were the damaged ends but um i decided to just leave them on there and, and see what happens and if you do have um, damaged ends, I'd say, I mean, you can look at my locks now, a year and a half. I literally never cut them off, never did nothing to it, or just let them do what I do, and it's, it's locked. You feel me? So then, child, I did another video. Like, I had stopped this video, and I came back because I found this. Wait, I just had to come back real quick because I don't know if I'm seeing things or you know am i seeing things you ain't girl because i think i see budding help my bless my little heart okay guys bear with me but i really think this is what okay look look so i experienced budding after one week of being locked i'm going to tell you all why i think that is but let's finish this here I need y'all to see this. Look. Is this not budding at the top here? This? Is that what that is? Because I think that's what that is. And I see it on this one too, slightly. I don't know if that's just the expansion of my comb foil because I just washed it or what. But I, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna take this as a W. I'm just gonna be happy. And I'm gonna call this what, what it is. I'm budding. I am one week and I'm budding. I, I said it. Oh my gosh, if I find out this is not what this is, I'm gonna laugh. I really, this is, this is what that is. This is budding, stop it, stop. This is that, oh my gosh.
So I was mad hype about the fact that I started budding after only one week of being locked. Extremely excited about that. Why I think I started budding after just one week of being locked, I would actually attribute it to adding water to my hair. The very same thing I was repeatedly <laughs> advised not to do. And I tell everybody, put water on your hair. Put water on your hair and from that day from this day you saw whenever i would go in the shower i wet my hair and i'm talking about putting my head under the shower head and letting it get drenched you feel me and i did that for a good solid nine months after that i was able to start getting styles and stuff so i didn't really want to mess <laughs> mess that up but i did that just that that was every day like every day and i was and i did that more than likely in the morning like a morning shower just to give my hair time to dry throughout the day so that's what my hair looks like after one week locked budding thriving washed and oiled so i will definitely be posting more videos about the updates i have and lock tips tricks and more things of the sort but let me know of any questions you all may have down below in the comments and any ideas you may have for some videos that you want to see from me i love making content like this for you also go ahead and press the like button for me so that i can make more content like this and press the subscribe button and a notification bell so that you know when i drop something new until next time guys peace